Hi there, I'm Ray. Welcome to Ray's Toolbox. Making a couple of live edge river tables for some friends and uh, in the natural drying process of uh, wood a lot of times they have a big crack in them. So I thought I'd dress this one up just a little bit. I made some little bow tie uh, inserts that I'm going to set in here and uh, hopefully kind of fancy it up a little bit. I made this out of the same type of wood, that way when you stain it, it's not going to stick out like a sore thumb, uh, but it should add some visual interest. So let's see what happens. I cut out a variety of different size bow ties, and I picked the best one that I liked for this particular spot, traced it out. And then it was time to take the chisel and chisel out where the bow tie goes. Took a little bit of time to get it all chiseled out. I did not want to get into the good wood and uh, have to fix a mistake as well. When I chiseled the spot for this, I left it just a little bit shallow. That way the bow tie can stand proud and I can sand it down, make it level with the rest of the top. I put another bow tie on a crack uh, on the piece right next door. It has a double crack, it looks like, um, so I kind of put the bow tie between the two as if to tie them together. It is the same crack, but the way it meets the surface of the board, yeah, it looks kind of neat. I weighted down the tops of them while the glue set. Then it was time to sand them down. They actually surprised me and sand it down fairly easy to get flush with the rest of the board. Next, I wanted to seal them into the piece and uh, try to prevent some air from coming up through the crack and making bubbles in the final finish of epoxy. So I took some epoxy and drizzled it around the crack, around the bow tie, and worked it in just a little bit, let that dry, uh, let that set up and seal the ends. After the epoxy had set up, and before you put on any more epoxy, you always need to sand it down to give the fresh coat something to grab a hold of. Then the next step was to put a seal coat on the entire project to help keep the air in the wood and keep it from prevent it from coming up through the final finish. On this top, I put three seal coats down to prevent the air bubbles, and then one final flood coat for the shine that the top has. I think the bow ties really added some character to the piece, a little bit of visual interest as well. Hopefully you have an idea of how easy it is to put something like this into a project. So if you have something that uh, needs dressed up a little bit, this is a nice idea. These bow ties went in the end of the antler table that I'm making, river table. So subscribe to the channel and ring the bell and you should know when that video is out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.